Exercise 5.1. In this exercise, we have a thermocouple junction, which can be used to measure the temperature of a gas string. The first task is to find out the diameter of this junction in order to have a time constant of one second. Then we need to find out how long it takes for a junction, uh, which is initially at 25 seconds, to reach a temperature of 199 if it's placed in a gas stream of 200 Celsius. The information of convection and conduction coefficients are given, as well as the heat capacity, the density, the temperature initial, and the temperature of the gas. We assume that this problem is going to be uh, transient. We also assume that the temperature on the junction is going to be uniform, and there is not going to be any lead heat loss through the leads. We also assume that there is not going to be any radiation, and the properties are going to be constant. Let's start the analysis with the definition of the time constant tau t which is equal to 1 over h, the surface area, times density, volume, and heat capacity. Using the information that for a sphere, surface area is equal to pi d squared, and the volume is equal to pi d cubed divided by 6, we take this 2 and substitute it into tau t, and it simplifies into 1 over h, density, diameter, heat capacity, over 6. Since what we're looking for is a diameter, we solve for d, and you can see it gives us tau t, h, 6, divided by rho c. Notice that we know all the quantities over here, and we will solve for the diameter, its value is going to give us 7.06 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. Once we have the diameter, now we could calculate the BO number, which is defined as H, the critical length, divided by K. For an sphere, the critical length is equal to the radius divided by 3. For the information that we have in this problem, we calculate the BO number, and it's going to give us 2.4 times 10 to the negative 3. That means that it's low enough so that we could use the lump capacity method. So now we could use it. To calculate the time, we're going to use equation 5.5 from the textbook, which is given as t is equal natural log theta i divided by theta rho vc divided by has. Notice that this constant is equal to tau t, that in our case is equal to 1. Therefore, the time is simply going to be natural log of theta i divided by theta, where theta i is simply the temperature initial minus t infinity, and theta is going to be the value that we're looking for, t, uh, which is 199 minus t infinity. If we substitute everything, so time is simply going to be natural log of initial temperature 25 minus 200, which is t infinity, divided by 199 minus 200. As we indicated before, the value of tau t is equal to 1. Therefore, the time that it reaches uh, 199 Celsius is going to be equal to around 5.2 seconds. Please go back and make sure that you're able to do these calculations and get the same results.